Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great weekend and a great Sunday. Well, today as you can see, we're going to be working on Morning Glory and Hummingbird. I got this from DIY Digital Art sometime last week. Yeah, and we definitely need thimbles today. Only because my fingers are about raw. Yeah, because I just keep stitching. And I'm not sure what color this is. Let me see. If I can find it real quick. 775. It's a lovely pale, pale, pale blue. Yep, got to have my clip over here. Or everything goes awry gives me something to hang on to so what is everybody up to are you having a good day I hope I hope let me see if I can bring you in just a bit there we go that way you can see what it's going on well it's another cloudy day in the neighborhood but yesterday towards the end of the day the Sun came out the sky was beautiful and blue and it was just absolutely lovely it's supposed to rain later on today we'll see we usually get that rain snow combo going because yeah it is what it is i'm telling you how did i miss and i noticed on this hang on edge here this brown yeah I got to take all that out but I wasn't about that life right this second yeah cuz no just didn't have it in me we're just having a day here I don't know where that piece of fuzz came from. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So yesterday was kind of not very eventful. I don't even know if you can tell these two colors right here. I am doing this with two threads and I'm using the half cross stitch. In this that's all I'm doing on this one and for me it's turning out just fine so yesterday let's see what did I work on I worked on the peacock for a little bit the one with the purple feathers I now I have to differentiate which one is that I'm working on yeah I did that for a while and put in two whole threads of jelly bean purple yeah but other than that then I worked on scarlet nope yeah Moulin Rouge is what I worked on I don't think I worked on scarlet ribbons yesterday. Yeah, I wanted to finish that motif. I made a short to show you that I finished that one motif. So, that turned out well. It took a hot moment to get there. So hence why I didn't get that little short up until about hmm, 10, 30, 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. Because I had a little hitch in the get-along and I had to redo a part of it. So, that was fun. And then I thought it was off. So, I went and I started on the other side to finish, you know, it coming this way. And it was just fine. So, I'm glad I didn't rip all that out. Yeah. I have moments like that. It's like, oh my goodness. 
and that is basically all I worked on. Of course, I did European Town for the video, but yeah, not so much anything else the rest of the day. I was about ready to get out the diamond painting because my hands were, not my hands, but the ends of my fingers were starting to cause an issue. Because I've run into them, the ends of my fingers, one too many times, and yeah. So how do you like the time change? Are you a time change person? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Write in the comments. Or perhaps you live in the place like Arizona where they don't have a time change. I don't know. I'd find that kind of weird myself, but okay. Because I've been doing the other for, you know, 60 some years, so. And, uh, yeah, so I went to bed probably about quarter to two, new time, yeah. I passed out, and I did not get up until eight o'clock, which was seven o'clock, which, you know, is far better than being at six o'clock, because every day this week, I swear I've gotten up at a little bit before six or six o'clock ish yeah every day this week and I didn't even know it's the time change until Wednesday that it was coming yeah it, it, it always throws me for a loop I'm better at the one that goes forward than the one that goes backward yeah it takes me a good week and a half to get over that it's a nightmare. <coughs> so, yeah, I didn't... Wasn't too busy yesterday at all. Did take a nap. But that was about as exciting as it got. Didn't go anywhere. Didn't hardly do anything. I put my corned beef in the crock pot yesterday and cooked that all day so I had that for dinner finally about 7 o'clock I like it to get good and done and I didn't get any carrots to go in there this time so I had lots of cabbage and I got some red potatoes which I never ever usually buy but they were kind of on sale so I don't know just felt like it I guess at the time had to buy a whole bag of course because they didn't have any red potatoes just you know loose like they do the russets but yeah oh my goodness so yeah that's what I had then I won't have to mess with it next weekend so I'm happy about that and besides, I just wanted it badly. What can I say? Just go up this way. It'll be easier than trying to fill in the blanks there. So, yay. Did get this topper part right here done last week sometime. Of this mailbox I decided it was just there and it was easy to stitch on so yeah I haven't I'm not doing any of the back stitching until I finish that area so yeah we'll see how well that goes but this is kind of a nice little pattern it's not very big it is 30 by 44 so not too big at all
watched some floss tube yesterday well not floss tube but floss tube YouTube that kind of thing yesterday I did watch a new movie and it's in the top 10 I want to say far away something like that I think it was a I want to say Turkish but I might be wrong movie but it was in English you know they've gotten better at all that so I don't know what country made that but it was really a good movie so I watched that and what else nothing they have a bunch of older movies that haven't been out for I mean like they got Top Gun on there you know and other things I think I want to watch them and then I put them on and I go oh, yeah I remember this I've only seen this 500 times some are better to rewatch that you you know kind of like to see it again others it's like eh, no I'm good so I change my mind and go watch something else but that was the only new one that I watched. But I think it was called Far Away. It was about a lady whose mother had bought a house while she was her mother was alive. And um, she only finds this out after her mother has passed. So yeah, it's it's kind of good. It was kind of a feel-good movie. It was awesome. But other than that, it just was kind of a nice, quiet day. I spent 90% of it probably stitching. Oh, I should have been doing housework and all that other happy, happy stuff. But, you know, just didn't feel the need. I, it's all going to be there tomorrow or the next day or the next day after that. So, And nobody ever shows up at my house. Ever. Well, my friend from Arizona shows up, but, you know, I kind of know when that's going to happen. But, I mean, people sporadically. Yeah, there's more stitching to be done than, than there is housework. So, there you go. That's my, my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Let's get rid of that thread. But I'm really pleased how the coverage on this is really good for two strands. So, you can almost see that other color in there. It's kind of a, got a gray tone to it. I don't know, I had a hell of a time getting this thread out. I don't know what went wrong. Truly. Any other time, I'd just pull a strand out and we were good. This sucker knotted up six ways from Sunday. And for the life of me, I could not get it to come out. Fought it the whole way. Yep. Will you stop? My hands feel rough. I just put hand lotion on. I gotta get that off just a second. So, yeah. Kind of a Nothing much going on here. I was gonna, by the time the sun came out yesterday, I was like, ah, it's too late to go to the river. I don't want to go down there. Yeah. Just didn't, wasn't feeling it. I'm more of a, let's do that in the morning, girl. Yeah. And get that done right away. Usually we're trying to beat all the, tag nabbit. Really? All the uh, tourists 
down to the river because they all like to go and walk and blah 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 you know so yeah if you get out 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning you're really good because you can beat it because they're on vacation so they're sleeping in right that's another theory so yay but right now we don't have that many people milling around now well I guess it is two months I was gonna say it's about time for graduation but not not yet this month the end of the month is spring break for our kids in school so they'll be doing that mm, week of like the 20 second through that next week so yeah that's when they'll all be out of school and I don't know my my son-in-law is going to take off all of spring break I don't know what he had in mind maybe they'll go camping or something not sure if the weather permits you know because usually in March, the, you know, we have surprise snowstorms, if you will. One minute it could rain, and the next minute it could snow really bad. You know, and dump eight inches of snow, just like that, so. <sighs> I'm trying, guys. Oh, for pity's sake, really? Are you kidding me? Quit it. But that movie that I watched on Netflix, it's in the top ten Netflix this week. So, check it out. It was just kind of, you know me, I like a good story. If you can't tell me a good story or I get lost in the beginning, then no. But this, this was pretty straightforward. And it was about a woman that was maybe 10 years younger than I was. So... So at least, you know, we have something in common. Ish. You know. The kids are, her kids were like getting ready to go off to college. Now my kids have been past all that. God, for years. Seems like. So they're like 10 years older than her kids. So. Other than that, other than that, not much going on. I don't know if there'll be any reviews this week or not. Who knows? That post office is something else. I still haven't gotten that one that's still MIA. That they forwarded off to somewhere. Oblivion. Who knows? I don't even know what that means. Because I haven't moved out of this town or been any place else. For God. Seven, eight years? Yeah. So I don't know what I'll work on today. Probably some more Moulin Rouge. I'd like to fix the, uh, what do you call it? Springtime sampler 
or Quaker springtime spring Quaker that one I got you know fix the rabbit and try to work on that but yeah I just nope okay it's kind of like the Moulin Rouge and uh, Scarlet Ribbons it took me three hitches to get it started to a point where you know I could get it you know going right shall we say yeah so I don't know we'll see okay that takes care of that air on the back it looks like pale blue but when you put it next to that purple and all that other color it looks gray how funny love that Alright guys, well I think that is going to be about it. Let me put that over there. So, yep, I'll just continue working on the mailbox. Maybe I'll do some other colors over here. But I do have to take that one orange line right there. Put that orange line out. Yeah, because I got definitely the wrong color. It's because I couldn't see the symbol because it was so small. But we're good. We'll, we'll fix it. I don't know, I thought I had the right thing going, and it was definitely the wrong thing. Alright, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> and please hit the bell, that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, we'll see you next time. God bless, bye bye, keep stitching.